Hey, I'm Matt from Chaparral Motorsports. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through and give you some pointers on choosing the right tire for your side-by-side. -side. Welcome to our UTV Tire Buying Guide. For those of you that don't already have a favorite tire or haven't gone through the trial and error process, choosing the right tire can sometimes seem overwhelming. Well, don't fret because it's not as bad as it seems. There's just a few simple questions to ask yourself to help you narrow down your choice. First, let me start off by saying that everybody has their own opinion and preference on what tire is best to use. There's a lot of options out there that were designed to pretty much do the same thing. So that's where the trial and error and the process of elimination come into play. So the tires that I'm going to show you are an example and are some of the most popular choices with our customers. But before we get into that, let's talk about some of the basics. There are three basic types of terrain, hard pack, mud, and sand. So ask yourself that question, what type of riding will I be doing? If you're gonna go through a mixture of those things, then a good all-terrain tire will be the one for you. Playing in pure sand strictly paddles, and mud tires typically look like a sand paddle on steroids. So tall lugs, huge sipes, super gnarly looking. Another key factor to the performance of your side-by-side -side is the tire size. If you're out in the open desert, what we and a lot of others have found that works great are a 30 by 10 on a 14 inch rim all around. This particular size will absorb the bumps and whoops much nicer, which in turn give you a smoother ride to you and your passengers. This of course pertains to higher powered cars like a Maverick or an XP1000. You can also run something as big as a 28 on just about everything else. And having that one size all around makes having a spare tire much more compatible in the front and the rear of the car because from the manufacturers, you'll typically have an offset in the rear. Mud tires have a bracket of their own. You'll see tires that work with light mud, medium, and full-blown boggers that are good for one thing and one thing only, slinging some mud. Now when it comes down to picking sand tires, the main thing you're looking for here is the flotation. You want to be able to skim the surface rather than digging deep. These types of tires are a lot less complex than the others, but are equally important for optimal performance. So now let's go take a look at some options. All right, so let's start with some all-terrains. These are the Kanadi Mongrels. These have been a huge success with us. Not only do our customers love them, but they're also a top pick next to the GMZ Kahunas in our mod division. Now here's why. This is an eight ply DOT approved radial tire. These are such a versatile tire in the sense that they ride smooth on the street where it's legal. They can handle hard pack, loose, sandy conditions, mud, and are even great for the track. Now being an eight ply tire, they work really well for rock climbing. Their size range is pretty incredible. They come in sizes ranging from 26 to 30 inch and come in a rim size of 12, 14, and 15 inch. So there's definitely something for just about every application. Now, if you're not too concerned with the DOT rating and just want a super aggressive all-terrain tire, the ITP Baja Cross is another great choice. And here's a few key features of what I like about them. For one, they're an A ply, so they're strong, durable, and they'll hold up in a lot of different situations. It has beefed up shoulders that wrap around for extra protection and grip, which makes an excellent rock crawling tire. And the lugs are stepped. This pretty much just improves the longevity of the lugs as they wear down over time. As for mud tires, like I had mentioned before, technically you can break them down into three levels of riding, light, medium, and heavy. And mud tires will generally have taller lugs with huge self-cleaning grooves so they can cut through the nasty muck and most of them are in formation like a sand paddle and generally have a six ply construction. The reason for that rather than an eight ply is because it allows the tires to stay lighter as they get caked with mud but still offer a good amount of abrasion resistance and puncture resistance. These are the Kenda Bear Claws and are popular here because they can handle lighter mud pits but are still capable enough to ride on normal surfaces like uh, trails and even harder pack stuff and the occasional sand pit. These have a six ply casing which keeps them light but they're also available in the HTR model which is an eight ply for extra puncture resistance. If you know the mud will be a little thicker and deeper, you might want to consider the STI Gorilla Silverback X Lights. This is a lighter version of the original Gorillas, which are an absolute monster. And you can see that the grooves start to get larger and the knobs are much taller for better cleaning and increased spacing gives them better traction. The six ply construction keeps them lightweight and keeps them trucking through that nastiness. Now, for those of you that plan on going through deep, deep pits that almost seem impossible to get through, check out the ITP Mega Mayhems. You can see the significant jump in the one and a half inch tread, and they're a little more narrow to cut through the mud and water, yet it still gives you a wide enough footprint to ride smooth on harder surfaces, which makes exploring from one mud pit to the other much better. 
As for sand tires for your side-by-side, -side, you can't go wrong with the complete set of GMZ sand shivers. Now the rears come in two models, standard and the HP version. The standard was primarily designed for cars 900 cc's and lower with a staggered paddle so you can have some fun whipping it around but still offers great straight line performance. Whereas the HP model was primarily designed for 900 cc's and above with a full 1 and 1 8 inch paddle that makes climbing dunes much more exciting. Now if you're really looking to squeeze every bit of potential out of your machine, then you want to match up your rears with a set of fronts to gain traction and turn sharper, especially with longer wheelbase cars. Now let's go get some feedback from one of our very own that's had some hands-on experience with the Kanani Mongrels, like I had mentioned before. So let's go see what he has to say. We're going to talk to Andy, our sales manager, who has had 35 years riding experience, 15 of which have been at professional level, and he's been here at Chaparral for nine years. He opted to throw a set of these tires on for good reason. Hey Andy, what's going on? Hey Matt, how are you? Doing all right. Good. So you have a set of these tires on your... 2014 Can-Am Maverick Max. Nice. So can you just give us a little bit of uh, insight of why you chose those tires over anything else? Um, it seems to be one of the more popular tires we're selling at CHAP. Um, I have the stock rims and tires that came with the car. I was having some issues on some different terrains, mm -hmm. and so I decided to try these. I went to 14s, 28, 10, 14s. Mm -hmm. um, I'm running about 10 pounds of air, and it actually seems to fit my car very well, and all the different terrains we run on, um, it, it's hold, they're holding up well. Cool. So how are they wearing for you? Um, I have about 500 miles on them, and they look as good as the day I bought them. Nice. So would you say you had an overall great experience with these tires? Yeah, the tires handle great and they handle any terrain that I've been able to conquer and go through and that they're wearing good and they're, they handle nice. So there you have it. That's going to wrap up our UTV tire buying guide. For more info on all of the tires you've seen in this video, visit us at shopmoto.com. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt. We'll see you again.